Alright guys, Hazen here, welcome back to the channel for another AFK Journey video. So, in this one I kind of want to highlight to you what I was saying in my previous video about how the, it's good to see a game where the developers are taking on feedback and listening to what players are telling them. And they're doing it in the beta stage so that when the game comes out for full launch you are getting a more polished product, you're getting a better product and hopefully you're getting a more rewarding game to play at the end of the day. Um, so while it might seem a bit strange, why am I watching a video about patch notes for a, a beta game that I can't get access to at the moment? Well, first off, you can. If you go to the website you can get access to the beta depending on your region. Um, but secondly, it's going to give you a little bit of confidence that when you start a game like this, you are basically going to have a voice that developers will potentially listen to and will implement changes based on what you're saying. So I'm going to quickly go over what you can expect, okay? So if you're someone who's already playing the game, then you're going to get this, okay? Or you've already got it with the latest patch. If you're someone who is looking at this game, very interested, then this is the type of things that you can expect when the game hits launch okay so i'm going to put the post at the side but i'm going to go through it i might skip some details okay because i don't want this video to go on like five hours and um, but you can see here this is the kind of things that they've been implementing to make sure the game is going to come out as a better product at the end of the day so added more chapters right they've added new s level heroes so obviously when you're summoning you can get yourself some new characters they've added new game modes for you to kind of get your teeth sunk into. I don't know if that's come off the back of people saying maybe the content was a little bit light or it's literally just they want to roll out each part of the content to make sure that again it's a polished experience, there's not bugs and things like that, which again is, is very solid. Removed the main quest feature and added a growth path and growth trials. Now I expect that is most likely because sometimes People don't like to be bogged down with tutorials and stuff like that. And if you look at a game like, say, Dislight as an example, sometimes just following the growth tree will naturally lead you to what should I be doing next? Where should I be moving on to? What content should I be trying to hit up next? So I like that, to be honest, because again, it guides you without holding your hand too much. But I'm, I'm, I think that's a really positive addition if they didn't have that previously, which obviously they didn't. Um, they've added new events, so there is an event already which is going to give you invite letters, their, their summons, um, soul sigils and more, so more rewards for free to play, pay to play, whatever. Um, new features guide which provides some tips and tutorials while playing. Now that seems to me as though it's optional. Um, I'll find out as I delve deeper into the game myself. Um, added new menu modes which allows you to access your preferred game mode quickly. So because it's more of a, a, an open game where you're traveling from point A to point B, I'm guessing before this you had to maybe walk to some character to initiate some mission or some gameplay mode now you can do that through menus themselves which is good for people who maybe don't have as much time to do these menial tasks like walking from a to b which to be honest puts me off a lot of rpgs if i'm being completely honest added new items for sale in the trolley classic gazette purchase classic gazette and the upgraded premium gazette to get valuable rewards to me that sounds a bit like some sort of a battle pass type thing um, which, to be honest, is expected in games that are on mobile these days. Added new first purchase rewards. Make a purchase of any amount to get Lysa, which is actually a top tier unit, for free. Players who previously made a purchase will get her free. That's good, so that's not forgetting about people who have already invested into your product, so that's fantastic. For people wondering, um, your progress isn't reset. You will just remain on this server when the game comes out to full launch. Which means that if your friends start playing, you might not be on the same server as them. So just bear that in mind if you are going to make purchases, which is absolutely fine to do. If you're going to do it, you will keep them. Um, it's just you would need to start again on another server and have two accounts if you wanted to play with your friends, unless they're in the beta with you. Okay. Um, added new hero recruitment currency, Lysa Echoes, which can be redeemed for soul sigils and invite letters. For details, refer to in-game info. Re based on the number of recruitments in your history, we will compensate you with Lycra Echoes via mail. Again, I like that because it's not forgetting about the people who have supported you up to this point. See, that's always positive. A lot of our games make changes and it's like, sucks to be you if you summoned before this because we're only really caring about what we do now. 
this isn't the case here and I believe it wasn't the case with AFK Arena as well when it became a bit more free to play friendly. Added new challengeable boss to Dream Realm. This new boss will be added to the rotation so cool that sounds like it's just going to be like a battle boss type thing which is good things to do every day. Um, adjusted the HP of Dream Realm bosses. This will not affect any rewards already collected. Awesome. Added weekly total win rewards for the arena. Again, it's the type of thing you expect if you're a boss in it in the arena. You expect to be rewarded for it at the end of the day. Added new translation feature to Karen Poston. Tap the translate button to translate messages. Special bonus for all players who created their characters before the update. The first 10 recruits guarantees one of the following S level heroes. Henwin, Smokey or Merky. That's another top tier unit. And Rowan. So that was only going to really be applicable if you were playing the game prior to this most recent influx of new players that are allowed to join. Now if you look here, there is an absolute laundry list of changes and updates that they've made based on feedback, based on listening to the community. Um, I'm not going to go through all these, I'm not, there's too many, right? But to me, this is just a real positive sign of people who listen to their community, who listen to their player base. And that is what I'm looking for in a new title. That is what I'm looking for. I want to know that if there is problems, that's fine. Games have problems. It's how the developers respond to those problems. Are they going to act on them? Are they going to fix them? Are they going to be transparent with what they've done? This is ticking all those boxes. AFK Arena, ticked all those boxes. They are very good at communicating with their player base. They are very good at acting on things. And ultimately, that is what is really driving me to want to cover this game. That, and the fact that I do like the universe it's set in, I like the look of the gameplay. I like the fact that it's not just the same as every other idle game that exists out there, because I could list them. I could list them all. If you go and try out free idle games, they all take the formula that was made popular in AFK Arena and they press Control C and then Control V. That's it. Honestly, that's it. They, they might change the artwork, they might change the animations, they might even change how it's presented. It might go from being a side scroller into top down, whatever. But ultimately, they all have the same things. They have some kind of labyrinth dungeon that you have to go through three stages of with increasingly difficult bosses. They have the same ways that you level gear, the same ways that you level characters. Ultimately, at their core, they, they all end up being the exact same game. And they're all menu driven. They're all menu driven. The thing that I like about this is it's not menu driven and the originator of the formula is most likely the one who is going to change the formula. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of different things that we can expect from this game. Um, again, it is something that I've been looking forward to for a while. I'm so glad to finally have gotten into the beta and a big shout out to Pika for that. I must admit, Pika was the one that hooked me up with the contact that got me into the beta and from now on I'm going to be covering this I'm still going to cover my other games right but I'm going to be covering this in beta which if you're interested watch the videos because when the game hits full launch you're going to be prepped ahead of some others who are jumping in absolutely fresh you'll know some mechanics you'll know some characters that are good you'll know ways to save currency because I'm going to have access to all of that and I'm going to bring it to you guys so expect a lot of videos on this I've been Hazink, and I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace.